agenda items, so um, Commissioner, you'll find your minutes from your March 25th, 2013 work session and your March 26th, 2013 work session should be in your packet. Please take an opportunity between now and tomorrow evening to review those minutes. And, uh, if there's any additions or deletions, please skip from this page and let's have those corrected so we'll be ready to approve those minutes at tomorrow evening meeting. Agenda item number 6A um, is a request for abandonment of Log Road, CR 8. Mr. Fletcher. Yes, sir. As you see on the screen in front of you, we've got a request to abandon Log Road. Log Road is out in the eastern portion of the county near Edwards County off of Lower Grand Bay Road. It is a dead-end dirt road uh, that has a cemetery at the end of the road. The both sides of the road is owned by the Langdale uh, Company. Uh, it is used for forestry and for hunting. There are no houses on this road. And so what we'll be asking tomorrow is for the commissioners to make a determination to send this to a public hearing, <coughs> making a determination that it ceased to be used uh, by the public or that its removal from the system, from the public, or the county road system is in the best interest of the citizens. So that will be our request tomorrow night. There are, again, there are no houses on this road, and we did not take traffic counts uh, because of the fact that there are, there are no houses there, and that we have we have recent traffic counts on Lower Grand Bay Road uh, in this area, and the traffic counts on Lower Grand Bay was 12 cars per day. So very, it's very minimally used out in that area. All right, so thank you. Do we have any questions for Mr. Fletcher? Mike, this property is owned by the church. Uh, actually, the history of the cemetery is the Unity Primitive Baptist Church, which is across uh, the, uh, across Grand Bay, uh, had the church and the cemetery over there. And whenever the creek would get too high for them to cross to come to the cemetery to bury, they would stop on the east side of the road and be, uh, on the east side of the creek and bury. Uh, in the cemetery. They just developed a cemetery on the east side of the creek, so when they could not cross the creek, they could bury on the east side or the west side. Mike, the actual ownership the of ownership, the property belongs to the Langdams. That's right. The ownership belongs to the Langdams. That is correct. So it's not, it does not belong to the church. The church just upkeeps it. They're, they're, they're the overseer. They're the Langdams. overseer and upkeep. That's correct. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Mr. Chairman, yes, sir. I noticed it said the, uh, the church uh, of Keeps and so forth. Now, have anybody in the church, you heard anything from anybody from the church uh, regarding possible closure or anything you know about it? I know I haven't heard anybody from anybody at the church, uh, Mr. Fletcher. Uh, I have talked to, I guess, their elder or uh, who, that kind of their overseer of the church. They don't have a per se pastor, but their overseer of the church. Uh, I talked to him, and uh, they would prefer that the road be left open to where they don't have to uh, unlock a gate to go to the cemetery. But uh, I don't know that they're going to come out in opposition of it or anything else like that. They're, they just uh, they said they would prefer for it to stay stay open. Uh, but, but that's you know, I don't know that they're going to come out really in opposition of it or anything else like that. But they but Mr. Langdale is going to give the church a key. He's going to give the, their caretaker a key, and he will have a sign on the gate that says for access, and it's called the Weddington Cemetery, for access to the Weddington Cemetery. And he'll have a, a number that anybody can contact to gain access to the cemetery. So. Mr. Fletcher, do we not have already a couple of cemeteries in the county that's already kind of under that type of circumstance to where it's behind a gated entrance and yes, have access there are, to there are a couple of them in the county already like that uh that where there where there was vandalism then like it like we've had out here uh been vandalism in the cemetery there's been fire set uh someone dumped a, a trailer load of tires out there very recently so uh that's you know with it being a dead end dirt road nobody lives down there it's a prime area for uh illegal dumping and activities take place but there are several cemeteries in the county right now that have a gate with a sign on it that says for access to contact so I, I would also encourage each commissioner the opportunity to go out there and you know take a look at it yourself and, and uh, 
you have a little bit better insight as far as what's going on. Yes. One question there. What was the elder concern to not to close it? Their concern was just the inconvenience of having to unlock a gate to go to the cemetery. I have a question. <clears throat> there would just be one person in the church that doesn't have the key. It will. If family members wanted to go and visit a grave plot or do some work there, they would have to always go through that elder to get to. Well, there would be one. What Mr. Langdale was saying is that he would give the key, of the church, a key, and he would give the caretaker, who's also a member of the church, a key uh, for them to, uh, and then he would still have the sign on the gate. So if they couldn't get through the church or through the caretaker, they could always call that number. Okay, any other questions? Thank you, Commissioner. Right, agenda item 6B, the de-annexation request <coughs> Houser at 2990 Stallings Road. Mr. Davenport? Yes, sir. Uh, this is a very unique request. We don't get these very often, but we do have an applicant, in this case, Mr. Houser, who has been serious about de-annexing this property. He's been serious since about late November is how long we've been working with him to kind of make sure this was ready for your consideration. And we believe it is now. Ultimately, at the end of the day, what we're asking for this morning is for a resolution to consent to the annexation. After, should the resolution be approved by the commission, it will then go to the city council. And then after the city council approves it, should they do that, it will come back to the commission for a reason. But ultimately, we're talking about 36 acres off of Stallings Road. I think the only issue that maybe staff would want to be aware of that we've been working on is that there are some wetlands issues going on between the applicant and the city engineering department and the Army Corps of Engineers. If the, the property is the annex, those issues will be under the jurisdiction of Lowndes County and the engineering department, not the city of Austin. We've worked between those two departments and we believe that we have things, should it be approved, on to be able to be transferred and, and handled with either jurisdiction. So with that, we do believe it's ready for your consideration. It's not necessarily a public hearing at this time. It's just a resolution to consent. I'll be happy to uh, address any questions. And I can tell you from a code compliance standpoint, we've done this at least one other time before in recent history with an annexation where the city um, took over some property. We were having some compliance issues with, with the dam off of Bemis and Guest Road that the city ended up taking over. And it was under their jurisdiction once it was annexed. So not a de-annexation, but an annexation with kind of similar code issues. So I would offer that for reference and history, and we're here for any questions you may have. We have any questions for Mr. Davenport? Is it well and septic right now, Jason? Yes, sir. Actually, it's not developed. The applicant wants to build a house on it, but currently, yes, sir, there's no city services in this area. I have a question, Mr. Chairman. Um, yes, sir. In the event that the city uh, does not grant the applicant's request, what, what are the options that does the applicant have? Sir, I'll check on that as far as maybe potential legal options. But in previous years past, I mean, the city has denied annexation requests. Um, so I think it's very realistic that it could happen. If, I'm not sure of the legal appeal to a superior court type option. I'll have to check on that. Was this one of the islands that was annexed into the uh, city? No, ma'am. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Agenda item number seven is a bid for a six-month fuel contract. Ms. Black and Ms. Sands. Any other questions? 
Okay, thank you, Ms. Sink. Agenda item number eight, county manager report. No report, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, sir. I'd uh, like to recognize we've got uh, a couple of young ladies and uh, a guest with them, Leadership Lounge Youth League from Open Bible School. Would you please stand up, please? And come forward and state your name. Tell us who you are and a little bit about what you're doing. Come on down. You're being graded, but no pressure. <laughs> Good. We're very, very pleased to have you here, and you're welcome back any time. We won't put you on the spot next time. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much. All right. I hear no other business. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Adjourn.